welcome back to the channel guys thanks for joining me i'm just saying my piece and this is a little bit of an update on the uh ants uh, black ants infestation that we have been having and i was advised by a gentleman from rada whose name escapes me at the moment but i'm sure if you call rada they will put you on to the right person and he gave me a little bit of advice as to what i should buy and how i should do it and um no doubt many of you will remember the angry looking black ants nest well i did uh, sprinkle a little bit of this in that nest and this is what it is active ingredient blah 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 and this is the brand i bought now so i sprinkled it on this nest and no doubt many of you will have remembered this particular nest when i um cut this tree down and i poked it there were thousands of angry black ants that poured out ready to um, um, cause the destruction now they are totally pissed off and they are looking for somebody or something to kill and to commit murder i guess but as you can see i have poured the powder in this nest and let's just take a very close look not a single ant the tree is ant free now for many of you who are thinking well it is that way because the tree is on the ground no it's not um the this would have made absolutely no difference the tree being on the ground or being cut down but as you can see it is completely ant free i did that about a week ago now this tree this is where it came from by the way and this tree used to be covered with ants black ants now there is still a large nest up there but there are no ants walking back and forth in this tree so i would suggest that that um, nest is also dead the idea being that these little th critters are cannibalistic so a dead ant that has poison in it will be eaten by another ant which will then die and then it will poison the other ant and so on now this is a mango tree as you can clearly see and uh, this is a nest that was that is right here it's fairly close to the ground and so as a little bit of an experiment what i did was to simply put a little bit of and powder right here not a lot just a little bit and uh, i have just checked this nest as you can see just so i am going to use a tried and true method of testing a black ant's nest so let me try that again so that wasn't a bullseye so let me try it again there you go and as you can see almost completely eliminated in fact there are no ants coming out of that nest so it would seem that this powder is very very effective now there's another thing that you can't see which I didn't show you um, I spoke about it but if you take a look at these leaves what is happening well it's been raining quite a bit by the way and because the ants are no longer um, walking around and I guess infecting the trees with a specific fungus that is specific to the ants you will notice that these leaves are no longer completely covered with that black fungus and they are in fact becoming um, greener and healthier looking so that is also the um, the side effect of that and of course let me do that again so you see what I'm doing here mm, okay so this is what anybody in Jamaica would call duck ants. Yeah, that would be termites. And 
it would seem that the termites are not unaffected by this powder either. In other words, then dead. All right, so yes, I think we have made the point and we have given you a graphic demonstration of how effective the powder can be and how easily it can be applied. So if the tree is too tall and you really can't get up there, like uh, like that nest up there, for example, you can simply just put it somewhere on the tree. Um, as a matter of fact, the gentleman from Rada did suggest that I uh, somehow mix the powder into some kind of a paste and use a paintbrush to, let's just back up a little bit, and use a paintbrush to apply it somewhere like around the entirety of this trunk right here and that would um and that would if be very very effective on the entire tree and yeah that is our root yes so um guys thanks for watching i'm just saying my piece and this is just a quick update on the black ant situation and uh, the effectiveness of the powder and if you have any issues at all concerning agricultural uh, any agricultural issues i would suggest you simply give rada a call if the place if the person you talk to cannot cannot help you does not know what you're talking about just ask them explain to them what your issue is and they will almost certainly find the right person to put you onto so guys thanks for watching and as usual don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos and hit the notification bell so you'll get more updates of my videos and as usual you all have a great day so yeah um there is black ants poison that is